Hello, Power Fans. It's Mythlockland joining for round two with Boggles. Our opening hand, while a little bit slow, is still good enough to keep, even with the London Mulligan being in effect. Uh, it's going to feel a little bad playing that turn one forest and passing, but eh, we got to do what we got to do. Thorn Wood Falls means they're very likely on Tron, just from that one land drop. And sure enough, it looks like it is. Uh, since they're holding up open mana here, they're either representing Condescend or Prohibit. We're going to go for the Cloak anyway, and it does stick, so it's more likely they have Prohibit. We drew this Utopia Sprawl, and we did have the option of holding it, trying to wait for a time where they tap down some more, but it's not guaranteed that they're going to counter it, and if they don't, then we do get to play Ancestral Mask and Cartouche Solidarity. If they do counter it, it does kind of suck, but we're still going to be able to get our creature up to a 5 power, and that is a 4 turn clock if we don't draw anything else. We do want to get this match over as fast as possible, because the longer it goes, the more chance they have to set up to get their fog lock, or find anything else that they might have to deal with us. The, right now, they're already dead on board. You've noticed the past two turns, we haven't drawn any anything useful, they've just been doing their thing. But hey, just getting in with a 5-5 Trampler is pretty good. So at this point, they are digging for something that will keep them alive, and they're still not finding it. So they end up going for a crop rotation to gain a life. If we draw any enchantment, which we do, they are dead on board. So we did manage to steal that game one very quickly, although that is exactly what Hexproof is trying to do. And jump over to the sideboard. How can we prevent them from trying to stop us from winning? Well, what we can do is bring in the two flaring Pains. Uh, chances are they're going to be on most moment's peace to try and stop us from winning. And we're also going to bring in the one cartouche of strength. This is a tutorable way with the Heliod's Pilgrims to deal with any standard bear effects that they may bring in. And we're also going to bring in one Dispel. That's just a good catch-all. It can stop a lot of what Tron's trying to do. So we'll bring one of those in as well. And jumping to our opening hand. This is exactly where we want to be. We have Utopia Sprawl to get us the white. We've got three mana sources. We're not going to have any red right away, but having the Flaring Pain there is very nice if we ever find the red. Uh, second Flaring Pain is not a good draw, but eh, it is what it is. You'll notice once again, we did go for the Utopia Sprawl on turn one. Well, in this case, we didn't have another creature, but even if we did have a one drop, I'd still want to lead on this because leaving our creature vulnerable to Electricery is never really a good idea if we can play around it. Our opponent now is representing some sort of counter magic, but I'm just going to go for it. Turns out they didn't have anything, and we got a really quick win. I'm assuming our opponent's hand was a little bit on the slow side, and they didn't have a good answer to this. We've already presented a two-turn clock, which is just the power of boggles. Thank you very much for joining me in round two. If you want to see us burn through some more matches, I'll see you in the next one.